Hi, I'm Warwick from Harder and Steamback, and today the topic is glazes. Now, using color transparently, in my opinion, is one of the central reasons to pick up an airbrush. So we're very lucky today to have Andy Wardle from Calter Paint to go through this absolutely beautiful technique with you. Thank you, Andy, and show us your magic. Hey everyone, it's Andy from Cult of Paint here. In this video, I want to show you how to do glazes with the airbrush. We're gonna be painting the miniature blue, so you can learn how to do blue as well, but really I'm focusing on showing you how to do glazes with the airbrush. I've got my miniature here, and it's primed in black. I've used the Color Forge range of spray cans, and they're absolutely excellent, so I really recommend those. They're nice and matte, which I think is nice. I'm gonna be painting this blue, and for that, I'm gonna be using Citadel, Macrogé Blue. Now, blue is pretty powerful, it covers easily, so I've not bothered with a pre-highlight or anything like that. It should cover over black in a couple coats. I've thinned it in the airbrush with Vallejo thinner, and I've got a ratio of around two to one thinner to paint here, so it covers well. Just gonna check on the side that the dilution is good. It's looking nice. So I'm gonna come back to the miniature and just slowly build up the paint over this. I'm looking for nice, flat, even coverage over everything. You can see after two coats, it's looking really smooth because we've airbrushed it on. and We've got a nice foundation to add our highlights to now. Now we're gonna add some highlights with a brighter color and I'm gonna use Calgar Blue. So for this, I'm just gonna work my way around the model, trying to think of where the highlights should be. I'm gonna start off here on the shoulders, holding the airbrush maybe an inch and a half away, just gradually trying to build up some highlights here. Helmet. I want the face to be the focus, of course. So I'll just get a nice bright highlight on here. And the good thing about blue is this coverage is so good. I'm probably going to be able to do these highlights with just one coat, maybe two. But I think it's looking pretty good already. Just make sure you move the model around so it's really comfortable and you can get the right angle to get the highlights looking nice and natural. I think this is looking really great with these highlights and you could absolutely leave it there. You've got nice shadows, good highlights. But what I wanna do now is show you an airbrush glaze. Now a glaze, all that means is you're thinning the paint down more than usual and that makes it more translucent. And that makes it really good for blending and softening things. So all we're gonna do is take the Macrogé Blue again, but we're gonna thin it more than we did before. So to do the base coat, we wanted good coverage. So we did roughly a two to one ratio of thinner to paint. Now we don't want coverage. We want it to be translucent to try and blend these two colors together. So I'm gonna use something like a four to one ratio. But you need to experiment and get to grips with the dilution just to make sure it's doing what you need to do. So, you know, if it's too thick and covering too well, then you know you need to add more thinner. If nothing's happening at all, then you need to add less thinner or add some paint back in. So here I've got my tissue that I was checking the paint on before and I've diluted this pretty heavily. And you can see it's not quite as thick, it's a little wetter. Be careful when you dilute the paint 
because you are going to lose control, it will run easier. So you need to just carefully apply thin layers and making sure it's really dry, otherwise it will just run away into the recesses. So let's look at the shoulder pad here. We've got a big highlight, it's a little bit too large and we've kind of lost the shadows here. And also it's not very well blended. So I'm going to go in across the line where I think it needs to be blended and spray this glaze. So back to the base color. And I'm just really carefully spraying a tiny bit. You can see how diluted it is. It looks quite wet when it's going on. But you really don't want to flood any part of the miniature. This isn't like a wash. We just want to blend it all up. This is a really great way as well to get super rich colors because when you glaze over a pale color like this Calgar blue, you're gonna get a richer blue than you had before. This is a really versatile technique. We're using this with blue, but pretty much every miniature I paint, I actually go ahead and do this. I like to build up the highlights all the way to the top and then go back to the darker ones to kind of blend it all in and get some more colors. But, you know, you saved so much time by airbrushing those first two colors, you can afford to spend a little bit of time just to blend it all up. And it's still gonna be a really fast process that's suitable for gaming miniatures. Now, because the paint is so thin and translucent, it shouldn't change too much with each application and you can slowly build it up. So doing a glaze might take two, three, four, you know, quite a few layers to get it really, really smooth, but the end result is absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna do my second glaze now, just blending it all together. Already though, after one pass, that shoulder pad's looking much better. So that's two coats and I'm happy with that now. I could carry on and do it a little more, but I think this is good enough, certainly for the tabletop. What it's done is it's created a much smoother blend. I've actually got new colors as well because where we've gone over uh, and created a combination of the two, we've got some new tones in there. So there's a little more variation as well. Glazes are super versatile, so I encourage you to give this a go. It is easy on blue because the coverage is so good and you know it's just a strong color, but using this on red, green, anything like that, it's a good little technique to have in your quiver. You might be familiar with glazes with the brush, but ones with the airbrush are fantastic as well because we can just cover a large area really evenly and just get super smooth, vibrant colors. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and you can give it a go doing some airbrush glazing. It's not that hard. Just try it out and see what it does, and I hope you enjoy it. I work for a company called Cult of Paint. We specialize in painting tuition. We do video tutorials every week over on YouTube, and we do advanced tutorials over on Patreon as well. We also do in-person classes. We just love to teach people painting. But if you like these tutorials, please check out Cult of Paint and everything we do.